ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಹಾಂ ಎಲ್ಲ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟ್ರೇಡ್ ಟು ಟೆರಿಟರಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಫ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ judicial reforms or administrative reforms in justice before that let us recall company not only went with giving importance for extending its trade activity in a different parts of india even it also came forward for expressing its interest in the matter of administration to so from 1773 to 1785 warren hastings he was appointed as first governor general of india during his period he made a prominent role in implementing a new means and measures of administrative reforms so first administrative reform we discussed it is about justice so the matter relating to justice from each and every district it was mainly sorted out by establishing two different type of courts namely criminal courts fauzdari adalat civil courts divani adalat civil courts are mainly interpreted by both hindu pandits and muslim maulvis relating to indian laws for the european district characters one who used to preside over the matters or the discussions in civil courts whereas in the criminal courts it was mainly led by qazi and muftis these people used to supervise the characters then some brahman pandits they interpreted in a local language or in local law schools based on uh, or they are called as dharma shastra are hindus and muslim law digests they got translated to english so that europeans can understand the laws easily then 1773's regulating act made the provision of or provision for the establishment of supreme court in india then all the matter of administration relating to the district it was mainly supervised headed by district collector and district collector used to function collecting the revenues collecting the taxes and helping judges and police officers in the matter relating to the establishment of peace and justice within the district in today's session 
let us go for discussing about company army or military forces company went with establishing colonial power and also went with establishing new ideas and plans proposals in making strength with its military forces in uh, securing control over the region and also in uh, protecting preserving the trading centers most importantly company's military force to got established like mogal armed forces consisting cavalry horsemen ashwadal infantry foot paidal so here slight correction is there uh it has typed as door so it's not door it's f o o t foot infantry foot or paidal archery arch and bow so the company armed force or military force it consisted three different troops namely cavalry infantry and archery cavalry means ashwadal or horsemen infantry means paidal foot archery means arch and bow during 1820s warfare technology of the company it got changed with new methods and new ways in the process of recruitments first change it was it established or it adopted it introduced uniform military culture for all the three, three different units then soldiers were subjected to european style of training drill and discipline then caste and community feelings among the soldiers it got completely rejected and only the importance was given the spirit of patriotism and respect to the european style of uh, discipline so finally last part of the chapter it is conclusion so from the chapter what we understood from the different concept it is east india finally it got transferred itself from trading company to territorial power then new technologies after the invention of steam engine were got or were made uh, adopted for rapid progress and development in the in the different sectors also then by 1857 company established about 67 percentage of direct rule over the different parts of india covering about 78 percentage of population around the subcontinent then whole india by 1857 it fell under the direct control of east india company so with this we completed the chapter from history part and uh, exercise activity for the chapter it will be discussed from tomorrow's session thank you thank you one and all